TIFU by eating home made four alarm chili and flax seed corn chips. All was well for the first few hours you see. Tasted good. Well, the gluten-free, organic, flax seed corn chips tasted like wallpaper paste. But I needed something to scoop the chili. After an hour or so, I began the raunchiest burps this side of Wacko Warner. The strangest thing was that they smelled of nothing but the chips. As if the entirety of the chili had up and vanished deep within the vast recesses of my colon. Then I went outside for a smoke. Three to four drags in. And my gut makes sounds not dissimilar to a concrete mixer filled with frying pans. In retrospect, that should have been my first sign. But you know as smokers. Then there was a swelling and a deep angry thrashing followed by my anus trying desperately to imitate a sloppy wet granny kiss i tossed the smoke and potty danced across a half acre of yard around three cars up the stairs around three dogs and into the bathroom when my cheeks kissed the throne all hell broke loose you remember that scene in star wars where the pink-haired bitch pops the clutch on the hyperdrive and in a few million tons of starship turn into FTL shrapnel. It was like that, but my ass. The first evacuation achieved the velocity to accomplish three things simultaneously. 1. The blast was what I can only compare to an anal sneeze. 2. The mixture of varying shades of brown hit the water with enough force to launch a large portion of it back up and on my thighs. 3. Somehow, in some physics-defying manner, the angle of spray was sufficient to coat not only the bowl itself, but the seat and the cistern behind. Afterward, I got up, tried my best to clean up, only for round two to commence. This time, however, it wasn't an anal explosion, but instead a waterfall, a straight-up super soaker. The most uncomfortable part of the entire thing was that there was only one smell permeating my bathroom. Flax. That's it. And after my shower it turned into moist flax. I am now I recovery. And will accept any questions. TL. D or 4 alarm chili and gluten free flax chips turned my asshole into a shotgun. Chili. Raunchiest burps this side of Wacko Warner. Holy. Shit. I lost it at, anal sneeze, thank you for adding that to my vocabulary. When my cheeks kissed the throne. All hell broke loose. You remember that scene in Star Wars where the pink-haired bitch pops the clutch on the hyper. Drive and in a few million tons of starship turn into TFL shrapnel. It was like that, but my ass. The highlight for me. F for your butthole. Skull. Hash hash hash. Hash hash hash. Rolling on the floor laughing tears of joy. Sloppy wet grandma kisses. Tears of joy rolling on the floor laughing tears of joy rolling on the floor laughing. I cackled so hard at, anal sneeze. Exclamation mark exclamation mark great story op this is actually quite interesting i have ibs and tend to add flaxseed to my cooking to neutralize it and make it more digestible it actually usually saves me from diarrhea i wonder if you have a specific sensitivity to flax that may have triggered this have you eaten flax products before great and funny personal story you should write more. Not necessarily about this though. Loved your storytelling style. You sir are a modern day poet pinched fingers light skin tone. You truly have a way with words. That description of the Haldo maneuver is beyond perfect 12 tenths. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.